Greetings, everyone. This is the Wizard Ozzy Buko Show, and I'm the Wizard Ozzy Buko. Okay, your guiding light to the 21st century and the end times, and we're definitely living in the end times. That's why we do shows from a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, welcome to my dungeon. And uh, we just had a lovely dinner of uh, Dungeness crabs. Get it? Dungeness crabs in a dungeon. Anyway, anyway. I'm here with the one and only, the debut of one of our uh, website personal trainer advisors, the one and only Iron Man Vinny Blake. And uh, there he is. And uh, we talked about many subjects, but right now we're on the subject of sex. And I was saying that, uh, that I can't get that song out of my head by Salt and Pepper. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Anyway, I'm not going to sing it. But uh, um, now, um, we were talking about the sex swing. Uh, Iron Man Vinnie Blake was describing the sex swing in detail. And uh, I just want to say that I'm a little disappointed in Tony Testosterone. Uh, the other advisor to the website personal trainer, Tony Testosterone, otherwise known as uh, uh, Brian Slate, who is now free from his shackles. He's, he's no longer under house arrest because his, wa <laughs> his wife, his wicked wife, ex-wife, I'm sorry, his wicked ex-wife, Josephine, who tried to, to speaking about vampires, tried to bleed $280 a week out of him for child support for one little girl, which is ridiculous. You know she wanted to spend that money on her and her husband. Her, she got remarried. Anyway. Uh, she, she got remarried? Yeah. yeah. She's still... Wow. Yeah, and she's trying. She's still... she got this vendetta. She's a control freak. She is... I knew her when she, Brian was married to her, when Tony, T Tony Testosterone was married to her. She was a control, control freak. She wouldn't let him do anything. Even when he used to work out in the gym you belong to in, in Elmwood Park, New Jersey, on the boulevard. Yeah, that she, was she, a couple different names. Right she, yeah, she, yeah, she, used, she had her nose up against the, the window, you know, peering through the window, spying on him, following him around, making sure he's not talking to any girls in the gym. Real, a real super control freak. Some girls are that way. It's ridiculous. But anyway, uh, she got very uh, uneasy and very... Uh, uh, insecure about the fact that uh, uh, that James P. Madonna had talked uh, Brian Slate into going back to the gym way back when, when he first met him, when he was working with seafood with you, mm -hmm. when Jim, J J James was working with you. He met Brian Slate and he used to hang out and talk about wrestling and working out with James and his wife used to continue grocery shopping. When his wife was done his wife wanted him, time to go, let's go. And he's like, he had, oh, I have to go. No, you don't. You don't have to go. You make your wife stand there and you continue talking to James. You don't jump just because your wife says, let's go. When James used to talk to her, him on the phone, his wife would, as soon as she'd come home from work in the afternoon, he would go, uh, 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 I got to go. James, I got to go. I go, what? Well, James goes, why? He says, well, my wife, Josephine, just got home. So... I talk to my friends when, when, when uh, you know. What a relationship. I mean, come on. Why do you have to jump with fear? What I, so what happened was. Ozzy, Ozzy, what, what, she could walk around with this in the house? Probably the whip, the bull whip. <laughs> the bull whip, it kind of has like a phallic appearance to it, doesn't it, on the end? Kind of like my, my, my me walking stick. Yeah. Kind of phallic. It looks like a head. A head, a mushroom head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so. Long story short, that's how James P. Madonna got introduced into pro wrestling to Brian Slate. But Brian Slate, if the girl says the light is red, he says it's red, even though it's not. Whatever the girl says, he agrees because I know guys like that. They say they agree with everything the girl says because they want to get in their pants. Heaven, heaven forbid they should have their own opinion. So anyway, what happened was uh, J little Jimmy Pesto, who's Jimmy Liguori and Brian Slade, he got him a job doing security down C Seaside Heights, New Jersey for the, the crew, the cast of Jersey Shore, MTV's Jersey Shore, and supposedly they did security for Snooki on a boat. And, uh, you know, when, I, when uh, James did the video, free, uh, Brian Slade is finally free, something like that, at... Um, 
um, Shannon Rose in Clifton, New Jersey, he, by the Tiki Hut, he said, uh, oh, here you go, you're going to do security with Snooky. Who knows, maybe Snooky will take a liking to you and you'll end up dating, who knows. So, Brian Slate says, I want to fuck Snooky like a, like a machine, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck her so hard, I'm going to wear her out, I'm gonna, she's going to be sore, walking bow-legged for weeks, I'm rah, 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 rah. talking macho. All right, he does security, and this is the story I hear. He, he's talking to Snooky, and he says to Snooky, I want head from Snooky. These are his words, quote unquote. I want head from Snooky. He says, Snooky pulls down his pants immediately, right on the boat in front of everybody, and starts uh, sucking his, his cock, giving him a blowjob uh, with her celebrity saliva. So, Jimmy, little Jimmy Pesto, sneaks a photograph of this taking place with his cell phone. Claims he has the photograph and he was supposed to email me the photograph several weeks ago. He was supposed to email James P. Madonna the photograph. The both of us never received the photograph. So now I'm wondering, bullshit. is this story a bunch of bullshit? Is he, is he like, is the vodka talking? Because these guys love their vodka. I mean, you saw them in the dungeon one time. Bullshit. I you you believe this story is not true? I don't think it's and true. And the photo probably doesn't even exist. If you didn't get it by now, if Jimmy didn't get it and you didn't get it, you know. This Jimmy says he has it, he never sent it to me. But anyway, we'll, we'll find out down the road if it's bullshit or not. But anyway, every time I, I mention to uh, Brian Slate, Tony Testosterone, about the dungeon, he keeps on dodging me. I said, why don't you do a show and talk about your experience with Snooky and, and say that we have the photo? He keeps on dodging me. Sounds he, like sounds like you're calling him out, Ozzy. Come on down, Brian. Come on down, like like Bob Barker. Come on down and tell your story, Bob. Come about, on down, let's hear it. About Snooky and the photo you have, and Snooky giving me a blowjob. But we'll find, let's find out if it's true. He keeps on dodging me. Now either he's kissing Snooky's ass, he don't want to say anything derogatory on the internet because he knows it's going to be on the internet. He doesn't want to. He's kissing Snooky's ass because maybe he wants to date her. Ugh. Or the story is bogus. Bogus. Your call is it's bogus. bogus. Well, I, I it, think so. It's the vodka talking. Vodka. Okay. All right. There you heard it from Iron Man Vinnie Blake, foremost authority on male female interactions. Right well, here. He, he should have come down with Snooky down to the dungeon. Yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> she she gets ten thousand dollars for every public appearance. I don't think I don't think she goes down to the dungeon. I don't think she's getting ten grand out of, out of me, or, or 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 Reverend Bill or any of us. No way. She's getting ten grand ten grand out of us. But anyway, get them for a good time. Anyway, maybe you can bring your swing over when if Snooky does the show. I, if, I can if work on it. If, if, if Tony it if Tony Testosterone ends up dating Snooky, <coughs> he'll bring his swing over, his sex swing. But getting back to positions. Uh, I hear now. I heard Dr. Oz say that the the uh, infamous G spot really does exist, and it, it is actually two inches in the vagina and up. And uh, he described it as you know when you enter the vagina and you feel on top, first the it's sponge. first it's like rough, yeah, and then you hit smoothness, and then where the G spot is, there's a ridge, and it's two inches in. And what he said was. When a baby is born, I mean not born, I'm sorry, when a fetus is in the womb and before it decides whether it's going to be a male or a female, the area where the male prostate is supposed to be, if the baby decides to be a female, the prostate recesses the, the, the bud, whatever you want to call it, shrinks and once it becomes female, the baby, the, the, what, what used to be the beginning of a male prostate, is now this little G spot that actually shoots a liquid, an excretion comes out a, like a seminal f a fluid. Squirt. Now this thing, I always thought that the, when a woman squirts during an orgasm, I thought it was urine. I thought it was piss. Apparently, she does squirt a form of seminal fluid from this G spot, and there's supposedly a hole there. There's a, there's a, it, it produces some kind of a seminal fluid. Mm. I, this is Dr. Ross saying this. Yeah, yeah. On on TV, and uh, I was surprised. I said, "Wow, it really, there there is really." 
it, it, it's, it's where the, the male prostate is supposed to be if the fetus decides to turn male. In this case, it turns female, then it recesses down to a G-spot. You know, you never stop learning in so, life. So, so, so what are you saying? Like, if... Um, if you stimulate, well, you if you do my, my patented Captain Hook technique, which is, let's say you're doing a, a, a cunning a linguist. Uh, that's a funny word. It sounds like, like an Irish airline. <laughs> cunning, ling cunning lingus? No, that's air lingus. You go in... And you go in and up, like you're saying, come over here. Yeah. In and hook. And you keep on tapping two inches up. And you, you uh, work on the clit. You know, uh, the old timers used to say, little man in a boat, I think. Uh -huh. but you're, working, <laughs> you're working on the clit with your tongue, or you're sucking on it. And you're working, you're massaging the G-spot, it's G-spot, G-spot using the Captain Hook method, that eventually the woman will have an intense orgasm uh, beyond normal and s squirt a seminal fluid. Mm. You, you would believe in uh, I never knew chocolate that. being like a uh, an aphrodisiac for girls? Yeah, I've heard chocolate is an ancient aphrodisiac. I'll, 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 I'll tell you one thing. It's mine. One that. time, years ago, before I was married, back in, uh, I guess it was the late 70s, early 80s, my uh, girlfriend at the time, which is now my wife, she had a Yoohoo. Okay, I, I like Yoohoo drinks. And I couldn't believe how, I how fucking horny she got off of this Yoohoo. To this day, we still talk about it. How horny she got off of a chocolate Yoohoo, man. I mean, three fingers up her pussy and everything. Did man. she moan, Yoohoo? She was going, Yoho, Yoohoo. Yoho, we're in a bottle of Yoohoo. Listen, Yoho, ho, we're in a bottle of Yoohoo. <laughs> She was doing really? everything, you know, going all the nuts. Well, back you then. know, I noticed. She, 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 I'll never forget. She wouldn't. She, 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 she wouldn't take my hand out of her pussy. Oh, she wouldn't take my hand out. She wanted my hand in her pussy. Kept. You mean like the fist? The fist fight? I didn't get the whole fist in there, but you know, I, three fingers of fingering the shit out of her man, and she every time I take it out, I just ram it back in there, man. <laughs> Let's talk about sex, squeezing baby. the legs and Let's rolling around, you and going and nuts. Me, ba, 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 ba. How about you know? I noticed that if a, woman, if a woman is on top, it's probably the all-round best position to be in because she's. Well, on, most girls are like my wife. They like a doggy style. Well, because you can penetrate deeper. I I don't know what it is, but, man. But, I, they but, like to get banged and hard, 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 hard. You mean that? Big time, big time. You know how you, you know how me and JP, we used to, we used to take the old salmons and, and hold them up in in the uh, in, in the fish market and slap them, man. You know, and the girls over in the appy department would go, woo, woo, they'd be getting off on it. <laughs> now, the thing about a woman being on top, riding riding the mechanical bull, whatever, is uh, that her her clitoris can grind up against the man's pelvic bone, thus having direct uh, clitoral stimulation and clitoral orgasm along with the vaginal orgasm of the uh, penis, the sasichi or the chorizo, or whatever, being inside. This is getting too hard, too, too, uh, doc, doctor. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I have to be I, I do like fucking man. Well, because I do a serious show up until now, and I have to be a little, I have to be a little tad bit clinical. And she can ride, you know, grind the pelvic bone, and you know the man can also kiss her and, and massage her ass cheeks and and reach her uh, uh, her nipples, do a little tuning in on oh, yeah. depending on the radio. tuning in on if she's Get Japanese, w WABC on tune the radio. in on Tokyo or tune in on uh, 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 Mexico City or wherever the girl is from, you know, and and suck and bite on the on the nipples. Oh, we gotta take a break. Uh. <laughs>